and welcome to this millennial review where today we're taking a look at a product from Tiswell and we're going to use it on this three door paint project that I have in front of me. This is of course the Tiswell floor based spray gun system. This is their 800 watt paint sprayer and in this video we're going to unbox it, talk about this and then of course use it to see if it's worth your hard earned money. So if this kind of thing is interesting to you, I suggest just stick around and we'll check it out together. And if you want one of these for yourself, I'll have a link down in the description below. Hello and welcome to this millennial review where we've got something that's uh, gonna be key to updating my home in this box. In fact, we've got the new Tiswall high volume, low pressure, floor based spray gun. And this spray gun is gonna be a nice option for doing a little bit of household projects around the house, getting some things painted up and uh, doing it in style. Now. I'm no stranger to spray guns. I've got my Graco uh, 360 here. I also run an Avanti spray system as well. And in the past, I've had some Wagner options too. But what's interesting about this one is that this is a floor-based air pump. So all the electronics and whatnot are in here, a 800 watt system at 60 Hertz, and then run the air through this tube to your spray gun. Essentially what that's gonna allow for should be additional power out of your air unit, uh, more CSM means better paint coverage, and then in your hand, all you're holding is the paint and the gun, which should make it a lot lighter weight, a lot easier to run, especially compared to an all-in-one unit like this one from Graco. And of course, all of that is well and good, but the real question is, Tiswall, a brand I'm not as familiar with. Is it as good as the name brands? Well, they sent me this unit for me to review. We're gonna paint up a door using it to see how the finish quality comes out. And then we'll wrap back up with my thoughts to see if it's worth your hard earned money. So we've got our uh, spray gun together here and we'll go ahead, get, uh, get everything plugged in. Now remember this unit, we can turn on like that, but for now, I want to go ahead and uh, prep this and then uh, screw in this here together. And our Tiswall paint sprayer should be ready to make some action happen. So I'm going to turn you around to our doors that we have set up ready to be painted. And let's give this baby a shot. Now I've got the spray gun set up where it's going to have the horizontal path coming out and adjusting the spray nozzle here essentially what I'm looking for is a nice clean pattern so I'm going to go ahead slow it down just a little bit more as far as how much paint perfect that should be good to make this happen Looking this unit over first, uh, let's take a look at what we have going on inside. Uh, we've got our little foam cap pickup. This is going to then be the drum for the bottom. It's threaded on the top, so I bet you you can get replacements or different sizes uh, as need be. Now, on the front, we are going to have an adjustable nozzle. Effectively, with this adjustable nozzle, when it's straight up and down like this, that means your spray pattern is going to go out flat. When it's 90 degrees, your spray pattern is going to be right up and down. And then in this kind of halfway mark like that, it's going to be a nice round spray pattern if you were going for some detail work. 
So that's uh, that's pretty cool to see. And as we take the top off, yeah, you can see the air, your little nozzle for paint uh, that's going to be picked up and shot through. And then this is a look at our spray nozzle. And then, of course, the tip right on the end. In the bag of accessories, looks like we've got quite a few goodies to work through. Uh, a new cap. This cap should be able to cap off of your paint. Uh, especially if you're not all the way done with your project. A couple more seals, love to see that. Uh, also inside of here, some replacement tips, a little cleaner. Then we're going to get this piece here, which you can use that for run out. So it allows you to test how much thinning you have uh, to your paint. And in fact, they've got a nice little use guide here as far as how much thinning time or run out time that you need in seconds based on the type of paint that you're gonna be sending through this gun. And then finally, this is pretty sweet. Comes with a carrying strap because if uh, you're doing a big job, that's gonna allow you to be able to carry this floor mounted unit uh, if you need it to. Now these two do slide together just like so, so you're able to put it up quite well. And to get everything assembled and put together, it looks like our air hose is compression fit on the back and then we'll just click right into place with a twist so that'll have everything together so i've gotten the first two doors done and i want to show you the pattern that comes out of this watch as we go through And there you have it. That's a look at this Tiswall high pressure, low volume floor based spray gun. Um, you know, this is pretty solid for the $69 it currently is at on Amazon. I'll have a link down in the description below if you so choose. But as you've taken a look at how this worked, the finish quality did end up coming out pretty darn nice. It took a little bit of time, a little bit of work to get everything dialed in so that the air pressure was working properly and everything was feeling right on this machine. And once it was all set up, it worked out pretty well. Now the hose itself has worked out pretty decently and uh, was plenty long to be able to maneuver around. And I'd like to be able to use that shoulder strap in the future because sometimes that might be helpful. And I did test out the spray pattern in both the horizontal and the vertical. I didn't do the center section because on this type of spray, I don't believe that uh, that would have been helpful. Well, anyways, if this paint sprayer is interesting to you, uh, go ahead and follow that.